Hello, good morning, welcome back to the Fish Locker out with Paul Hayes from Hayes Outdoors. Hello, again. Just come out for a bit of a day on a boat. We're going to be mixing it around today. We're going to try a little bit of diving, then we might go and do the crab pots, and if we're lucky, we might even do a bit of fishing. Just enjoying a day on the water. Yeah, we've uh, we've just down tools from doing a bit of patio work, haven't we, John? I've, uh, my wife's been I would say asking me for quite a while to do the patio and I, I finally run out of excuses so I called in the big guns. I know a lad who knows a lad. I know a lad who knows a lad who can lay some bricks. Yeah. So yeah, see how we do. That's magic, how did you do that? That is... It's a good trick isn't it? <laughs> what the... <laughs> nice! When Paul manages to get into his rubber soap, we'll go and get wet. Yes. Now this really was a special one for me. This is a black faced blenny and it's the first one I have ever seen in the wild.
Right, we're out of the water now. I would like to say it was accessible. <laughs> I'll start again. I'll, I'll start again. <laughs> Same mouth. Hmm. Right, we're out of the water now. I would like to say it was a successful dive. I did all right. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I got um, a nice one there. And actually, I did find like a couple of three or four. First one I found, I thought, all right, brilliant. I put it back. It was size found an even bigger one so I thought alright well I'll let that one go and just as I was on my way back to the boat found another one you are allowed to keep two so I thought I'll bring them back and I'll measure them and I've actually I've just got back here and I've measured the second one measured this one and it's actually 89 so I was good to measure it because even though I mean, when you're under the water and you've got your glasses on everything looks massive so it looked like it was well oversized when I've got back it's actually just undersized so I'm going to chuck this one back in a second but Paul, if you would like to talk us about your wonderful catch. Well, I had a wonderful time. It was well worth the wait. Oh, I thought I was going to just tell you about the fact that I brought my spear gun. Uh, I had a wonderful dive. It was well worth the wait. Uh, well worth travelling all the way from uh, Yorkshire. Yeah, travelling all the way down here. Um, Labouring for John for patio. I bust my spear gun after five minutes. And then lost my GoPro after ten minutes. And then spent rest at dive looking for GoPro. So... Yeah, so anybody, anybody local who knows where this is, there's a GoPro 8 somewhere around here with some amazing footage on it. Yeah, but ignore my tapes and get the, I want the footage from my dive. But I, I will, I will have cut that part out. What you don't know is that he said something quite rude. <laughs> um, but I did get this though as a consolation prize, which it really is a booby prize because they're just well, they're, it's a monster to deal with. They are just... They're docile, aren't they, a bit? And that's a big yarn, like, hold on, mate. What's well, you'll get rid of it. To me? It's going to grab me, though, isn't it? Come here, lad. Come here, lad. Oh. Well, that actually is a really good size spider crab. You can see when I've been talking about it, when the males, when they get big, they do get a good set of claws on them. And there is a good amount of meat in there, and inside all of these knuckles, inside of here, there's a lot of white meat. Some weight on it. Hmm? And uh, yeah, well done. It's a bloke in it. Yeah, it is. Like the looks of it. So go. I will say goodbye to this little lady. I'm not sure how good the oh, there she is swimming now. Shows you how good the clarity is. And we'll take these two. The plan is now is that we're going to go and we're going to get changed and we're going to do some fishing. Let's go. This is take two. We've got changed and we're just heading out to a mark. I thought I would take two seconds just to show you how wonderful a day it is today. Tranquil is the key. Is now the word, of, word of the day. Just look at that. Doesn't get much better than that, does it? Not a breath. Let's go. <laughs> what? You want me to show you how to do it, don't you? <laughs> no, you just press play. Oh, you just press record so you can teach me all day so I look like I've a got, muppet. Like God led. Uh, tune in tomorrow when we, and we'll record me teaching him how to do mixes up. It's cement mix. There's someone there like that. Yeah. Like all that. And drop. Oh, and that's it on. And then. That's just that's basically your bail arm, that, isn't it? Easy you, life. You get up and down. Easy life. I got it. Dance around each other. Sorry, mate. 
This is going to be a rasp. Right? Fish on. This is a big boy Billy Rasp. Is that what you've called? I love the unknowing, like, oh, it's called, hold it, look. He's not happy about it here, is he? Is it a ballon, Raf? It's a little ballon. I think he was trying to make friends with the lure. No, he's, he's not. doing any favours. There you go. Yeah, ballon, Rusty. They don't attack him to eat him. They attack him out of aggression. Just to keep it away from keep its, it its area. Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you what though, this is the life. <laughs> this is the no, life. It's bad weather stuff. <laughs> no, this is the life, is it? Just one way to spend a Saturday. I especially seen as yesterday was go fishing day. Yeah, it was go fishing day, wasn't it? Instead we'll go patio in day. Go patio day. I mean, oh, easy tiger, um, easy tiger. He's off. Some had a little uh, nibble. Oh, that felt good. I've not had that feeling for a long time. That little. Some plucked your string. Yeah, some snapped my banjo. All we're doing at this point is we're trying to catch some bait. We're just using feathers. I've got a little bit of sand ale on my feathers. Paul is using a pair of sabikis. It was a full set of, well, it was a full set of six, but I think he's down to three or four now. Keeps getting bitten off by really big fish apart. I've lost more feathers than I've caught sand eels, so that's something. Yeah, we're after anything. Sand eels, whiting, pouting, mackerel, any small fish like that to use as bait for the big fish. Paul promises me he's got a fish on. Oh no. It's a good job because last time I said that, didn't have anything on. Now I'm calling sand eel. There you go, look. <laughs> Keep winding. Keep winding, lad. Keep winding. Keep winding. Oh, I've lost one of them. Alright, we're getting swung in then. There we are. There you go. Two of you. Yourself. Thanks very much. Two of your finest Cornish English, sandals. well, Cornish sand eels. Uh, I'm just going to wrestle with these and dispatch them. No, I'm not going to dispatch them. I'll put them in bait bucket. Keeping them alive for live bait. Keeping them alive for live bait, but there you go, look. Two. I'm acting like this is the main catch for me, because I don't catch that much. Yeah, drifting over banks like this, pick up all number of species. But the main things we're here for, hopefully, is mackerel and sand eel. And I'm winning. 3-1. Is it? I shouldn't say that, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> it doesn't matter as long as we get bait. When we're I don't mind who catches it. When we're dealing with a congress. That's going mad, look at that. It's because the line's still running out of it. Um. Got out to a wreck, We've just done our first drift over the top of it. And Paul's doing his very best to bring in a fish. We're fishing with just a set of baited feathers that I was showing you we're fishing with in shore. Just hoping for pouting, whiting, anything like that. And he's doing a really good job at making it look hard. Oi! I'm right! Make a video of me doing patio tomorrow. <laughs> All that our skill. This could very well be a PB fish for you, couldn't it? Mate, if it's bigger than that sand eel, it's a PB fish. Oh. I've got colour. Whoa, what's that man? The Ling. Ling the merciless. Yeah, it's out of the water. Yeah. Part of Ling. They do come in big sizes. That's not big. That's not that's as small as you're ever gonna catch. <laughs> well that's what we're after. Ling. You might have seen there that I just put the gaff through its lip because it was caught on baited feathers. If you tried to lift it up on the trace, it would have bitten through the trace. There's no point sticking a gaff through its side. Right. Well, really lucky to land that. Yeah, it was caught inside it. 
Eyes at the lift. That is the size of the hooks that we used. We weren't fishing for ling with this, we were trying to catch bait. Watch your hold on, you've got one on your back. Freed him. And, uh, go on then, yeah. Member of the cod family. You can tell because of this barbel here. And what? When you're holding them up, all you do is just slide your hands right up the inside. Yeah, like Buy it a drink I'm first. Oh, you need slap me noggin. Get a photo of you with your, with your PB link. <laughs> it's tiny though, isn't it? The fishing community will laugh at me with that. Well, it might be the only one that you catch today, so... We'll get a photo of it and see it can't put it back. Just giving you a little bit of an update. Yeah, we were fishing about 10 mile off and all of a sudden it's come to being like... Wait, it's minging. Yeah, you might notice that Paul and I are soaking wet. So from the steaming that we've had, <laughs> yeah, call it a day. Yeah. And whether it was stronger than forecast and earlier than forecast, so we didn't have as long a day fishing as we hoped to, we'll hopefully carry this on. Do you know what I mean? We will carry this on later. Au revoir. We're going to try it again. We've got a nice day and there's three of us at the minute but there's going to be four of us and we're going to go and try an area of the bay. So let's go. I couldn't believe this, two in two dives in two different locations. Right, there's the lads. Mr. Hayes is in charge. We're all doomed. And this is what I managed to get out of the rock. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Once yeah. bitten, literally yeah. twice shy. I got him on the back of his arm the other day. And he, I don't think he's going to let me forget it. <laughs> but yeah, that one took some doing. All four of us were taking it in turns to go down, then John took one last heroic dive was down there for about half an hour <laughs> came up with lobster without his hook yeah i was um stubbornness got that one out the spot where we've come to now there is a little bit more going on there's a couple of kayakers there's some look like coast steerers there was a jet ski earlier on there's a few of the boats so what i've done is i've elected to stay on board the boat 
just as a bit of like an overwatch just to keep an eye on everybody we've got Paul over there looks like he's found somewhere in it all we've got Chris and Callum that way there just just as an extra safety aspect just to keep someone who's got eyes on everybody and uh, I've already found my bounty stubbornness got that one out yeah it was a real difficult one it was under a real big rock and every time I kept going down one side it'd drop out the other yeah since Paul came down to stay with me I think we've had three dives two proper ones and then one to go and try and find the GoPro that he lost and I think between the two of us so far we've had 14 or 15 lobsters that we've found maybe five that were big enough to keep and we've kept three of them including this one it's got a great channel Paul if you're into bushcraft or into like wild camping or hiking or anything like that he's um He's a great guy to follow. Great guy to know. This is um, this is a good marrying up. Because um, it's like surf and turf. Anyway, if you find anything else, I'll put it in here. If I don't, then we won't. I hope you've enjoyed joining us. All the very best. I will put a link to Paul's channel in the description of the video. We'll see you later. Here he comes. <laughs> From Yorkshire to Cornwall. Swam it. Swam all the way down. Woo! Not even tired. Terrible visibility in there. Is it Kettle Nest bad or is it? <laughs> no. It's not northeast bad, but it's bad. <laughs>